today's video is definitely something that I have been wanting to do with this tutorial because I recently picked up the Makeup Revolution, uh, the Neutrals versus Neutrals palette, and I got mine at Ulta for right around 10 bucks. And a lot of the times they have this brand on sale. You guys know how much I love Makeup Revolution if you've been following me for, I don't know, the last year and a half-ish, and you've been tuning into the videos around that time frame, then you know that I love Makeup Revolution. I discovered them a little bit ago. And they have some really affordable things that are sort of like dupes, affordable dupes for high-end products, things that are really hyped up. And just overall, the quality is really great for the price point. And it is a brand out of the UK, but they do sell them in Ulta stores. I believe all Ulta stores do, but if not, definitely Ulta.com does have some of it. I do have a video all about Makeup Revolution and my whole collection video. Of course, I've added a couple things here and there since that video, but if you're interested in seeing all about Makeup Revolution, then I will link it down below. Put an annotation somewhere above my head so that you can click on it and go straight to that video. But this tutorial is very kind of smoky and very peachy, and I don't know, I just wanted to do something very peachy because I don't normally use peach tones and of course we all know Too Faced came out with a recent peach palette it's sold out they are completely I guess on back order I don't know I called Ulta asking about it and apparently they're really backed up so I was looking for other alternatives that could give me that sort of peachy kind of vibe to it without having to buy a bunch of like different individual eyeshadows and then I happened to come across this palette which looks like this so so pretty you've got a lot of neutrals you've got some peachy colors, um, some kind of warm tones, really beautiful, really deep kind of, I don't know, kind of like a plummy, ready brown type color. Really, really pretty. That's what I have smoked on the lower lash line. But if you are interested in trying peach colors without committing to the Too Faced price point, you can definitely get a palette like this or anything that has sort of peachy tones. So that's what we're going to be using today to do this um, entire look. And I really love them. They swatch out really great. They blend easily, and sometimes when you get cheaper products or eyeshadows, they tend to not be as good as some of the higher-end brands, but I honestly didn't have any troubles blending or creating this look today, and I'm excited to start creating more looks with this because there is so much that you can do with this. So many pretty colors, so many just soft everyday colors. If you want some kind of warm tones, if you want some peach, you've got those options there. And for 10 bucks, I really don't think you can beat it. So if you want to see how to do this entire look, then keep watching and I'll show you exactly how to do it. All right, so the first step in recreating this look is by taking a light tan color. This one is matte in the palette, so I'm gonna be applying that to my crease with the Morphe MB23 brush. I chose to use something that was soft and fluffy just so that I can apply some color and also diffuse the edges so that it's very seamless and well blended. I love that Morphe MB23 brush. I think it's a really good brush and it's held up pretty well. So what I'm doing is just sort of building it up by applying the most product on the outer part of the v, outer V of the crease and then blending to nothingness towards the inner corner. Then I'm going to add some more depth by taking the other matte brown shade, which is, I would say, two to three shades darker than the first shade, and I'm applying that directly over it. And I'm using another brush that I love. This is by Zoeva, and this is the 228 Luxe Crease Brush. This brush is so great for applying color and blending, I love it. So what I'm doing here is just applying and blending. I'm using the tip of the brush to apply it in the crease and then I sort of kind of angle the brush just a little bit differently to use the side bristles because it's a tapered brush. So the side shorter bristles to help blend everything out. As you can see here I am just sort of holding it almost kind of upside down into the crease area and then blending and again then going back into windshield wiper motions. I do this a lot. I feel like it just gives me a much more blended look than just sort of window sweeping motions constantly back and forth. I don't know. For me, I think it works. <laughs> then I'm going to take this really beautiful kind of rose gold. It's got a touch of bronziness to it. It's so beautiful and I'm applying this all over the lower lid and I want to make sure that I don't go up too far into the crease because this is so metallic. I don't really like colors or this sort of finish in my crease. So just apply this to your lid and just pack it on really nicely. And that's why I chose this Sonia Kashuk brush because it's the perfect shape for my eyes to really pack it in. So any small eyeshadow brush would work. And then what I'm going to do is use some Primer Water by Smashbox 
to foil this and intensify this. And you guys, look at how it's so different. Like the foiling tank, do you see the glow on my lid that wasn't there before? It's so beautiful. And this is just an easy way to get a foil look. You can just spritz it. If you don't have this primer water, you don't have to buy it specifically for this. Just use the MAC Fix Plus if you've got that. Heck, I've used even eye drops, like a dollar eye drops from Target works beautifully as well. Just make sure you have the product on the brush, then spray it or dampen it. Don't put the product or the liquid into your eyeshadow pans because you'll ruin it. And here I am just sort of packing that on. Look how beautiful this looks. I love this palette so much. Okay, so then I'm taking this peach color and I'm using a Makeup Geek brush. I'm not really sure what the name of this brush is. I'll have to put it down below. But what I'm doing is slowly adding just a little bit of a peachy kind of glow. This is a light peach color, so it's not gonna be too crazy. I think it's just the right amount of peachiness. And if you prefer, you can stop right here with the look really beautiful but I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna take this really beautiful dark rich warm brown I love this color and I'm using the same Zoeva 228 brush to start warming up the eye I love this look because it's very warm tone it's very me and I'm really gonna build this up but you know feel free to tone it down or kick it up a notch or two further if you'd like but again just applying that and then I am blending it out just a little bit above the upper crease just so that it has that diffused look so everything looks really seamless and blended then more peach we're going to go in with this sort of darker peach color I don't know it's so pretty because it is much darker um, and it's got like a subtle kind of reddish undertone to it it's really beautiful and as you can see, I'm using the same Zoeva 228 brush. It's such a great brush. If you don't have it, I do recommend that you check it out. It's really, really great. So then I'm just going to start applying this. And I did go a little bit heavy with it because that's just what I wanted for this look. And then again, buffing out the edges with that Morphe MB23. So those two brushes are very key for this look. Then for the lower lash line, I'm going to take both of the... Um, original colors that I use, the matte shades, the tan colors with a detail brush. And I'm going to start defining my lower lash line and really thickening that up because that's just how I prefer the color. And I'm really going to lay this on pretty thick under the under eye and it's going to look a little harsh, but you do have to blend it out. So I'm just going to apply quite a bit of this. And again, you can use any brush for this detail brush is perfect for it. Then with a pencil brush, this is a pencil brush by Zoeva. Arizoeva, however you pronounce it, and it is the 230 Luxe Pencil Brush, another great brush. So then here I am applying some of the darker brown shades that I use, the same sort of mixture of browns that I use in the crease. I'm sort of going to just swing down and carry those colors down the lower lash line. And then here I am foiling again that bronzy kind of rose gold, and this is going to go right in that inner corner just to sort of complete the look and bring that foiled like glowy goodness down into the inner corner. So beautiful. I probably said the word beautiful like a thousand times already. <laughs> but I'm just going to be applying this to the inner corner and definitely layering it up. And these colors blend very well. They're super pigmented as you can see. Great palette. Then to deepen up the under eye area, I'm taking this really intense kind of, I don't know, like a reddish plummy brown. It's really, really pretty. It reminds me kind of something similar to Cherry Cola by Makeup Geek. I think that's what it's called, but it's kind of like a dark kind of reddish plummy brown. Very unique color. And then I'm going to be applying that to the lower lash line. I'm going to put the most of the product on the outer part of the lower lash line and then just kind of blend it into that foiled color. Not too much because I don't want this really dark color to go too far into the inner corner. And then again with that same pencil brush from Zoeva, I'm blending out to make sure I don't have any harsh lines. Next for the liner, I'm using this one from ColourPop. It is a gel liner in the shade Best O. Love it. It is like a kind of plummy brown color and I'm using this in the waterline. And what I've done is I've used my Beauty Blender blusher to help kind of pull that area down just a little bit so that I'm able to really get this pencil right into the waterline. It applies beautifully as you can see and I don't have to really work at it too much to get it to show up and it's such an intense color and it makes the brown really pop. Then for the upper lash line I'm using the Tarte Tardis Clay 
liner. This is a very liquidy liner. It's a cross between a gel and a liquid. And I'm using the same brush that comes with the little, when you buy it, it's like this angled bent liner brush. I'm using that just to create a very thin line. And I'm just following the natural shape of my eye. I'm not doing anything special, just a little thin line to define the lash line and make them look a little thicker. Then for mascara, I'm using my go-to. This is the Rocket Volume by Maybelline. This is my favorite mascara from the drugstore. I love it. Been using it for a couple years and it's been great. And this is the overall look here with the eyes. Everything that I use for the face will be listed down below, but as you can see, it just looks so pretty, so warm tone, and I love it. I hope you guys liked it. So feel free to let me know your thoughts about this look and about this product if you've tried it down in the comment section. I always love hearing from you guys and I do my best to respond. Thank you for joining me for this video and spending some of your day with me. Have a fabulous day and I will see you very soon.